All right, hi everyone, welcome back to Steamflow and welcome back to another Steam Deck video. Today I wanted to take an updated look at Helldivers 2. There's been a new 4GB patch today and that's bringing the new Halo crossover Warbond. There isn't really any uh, change in terms of performance with this specific patch, so it's going to be more unstructured video and a live commentary. So I tried going against all the three types of enemies and three types of map and environments to give you a better idea of how this runs across uh, all the that the game has to offer and for most of the missions i'll be playing at impossible difficult i think that's the seventh out of ten difficulties so it's pretty high up there now on the harder difficulties the game will run a lot worse than on uh, some of the easier ones there's a lot more happening on the screen there's a lot more mobs a lot more explosions uh, i also tried running this with other people or basically just match made with randoms and some of these clips i am playing with two three or even uh, four man squads so that will give you a better idea of how the game runs when it is maxed out. Uh, so before I get into the gameplay I wanted to show you what options I'm running so everything is pretty much at the lowest possible option. Now I've set the game to 1152 by 720p. This allows me to turn on this index internal FSR which stretches the image and gives me a couple of FPS more. Now render scale I've set that to balance so you can go to performance or ultra performance but trust me you don't really want to go there. It looks absolutely terrible absolutely atrocious so you need to have it at least on balance like i prefer to at least be able to distinguish my character from the background and uh, running at lower fps than just using ultra performance i will show you a clip right now what it looks like at ultra performance and it's really not a recommended experience uh, pretty much everything else is set to low i have it frame rate limit set to 90 uh, i guess i'm optimistic like that on the graphics tab everything is set to absolute low uh, I experimented with this option, the ASIC compute. Some systems may see performance boost while others may experience reduced performance. In the case of the Steam Deck, or at least in my case, I've experienced reduced performance, so I turned that off completely. Now, anti-aliasing is good to have on because it gets rid of the jagged edges. However, it does reduce FPS, so fortunately, I'm leaving this off as well. Starting with Illuminate. I am in the city and I think this is the worst environment to run. The game basically runs like absolute shit and I'm not getting more than 25, 26 FPS most of the time. So, uh, when I'm not looking at any of the effects I am getting to about 30 but as soon as something starts happening on the screen we dip into the low 20s. I am also going to be trying lossless scaling but I don't think lossless scaling is really a good solution for this game. You may have seen some other videos of people playing with lossless scaling but they are playing on a really low uh, and easy difficulty and yeah it works there uh, you can use it to farm or something like that but here on impossible difficulty with lossless scaling three times we are not even able to hit 60 fps even with three times and there's a lot of warping and artifacting around the screen as you can see around the edges of the screen or even my character uh, it gets very fluidy uh, it's really not a good experience and there is a lot of input lag as well so I would not recommend playing this game with other people with lossless scaling. If you're playing by yourself and trying to farm some uh, and trying to farm some items, yeah, maybe, but I wouldn't really recommend it. Uh, next up, I'm playing against bugs. Now, this FPS is a little bit higher here because we have a mushroom cloud, so half the map is pretty much obscured by this fog. So we're up into the 40s and uh, I, I'm also playing by myself but still when the action starts uh, ramping up we're getting into the low 30s uh, and mid 20s this I also tried with lossless scaling this is two times lossless scaling uh, and we get up to about 50 fps but again there's there's a little bit of warping around and input lag is not as bad here with two times lossless scaling but you can still feel it and I still don't recommend playing like that I also tried a different map with bugs that don't have fog and here we are in the low 20s, even dropping below 20 at some point. This is a mission on impossible difficulty with a 4 player squad and as you can see I'm barely hanging on to 20 FPS, mostly dropping to 18, 17 FPS with a lot of explosions on screen. Here I decided to try and turn on lossless scaling 4 times just to see what that looks like. And let me tell you, uh, it's absolutely horrendous. There's so much warping and so much input lag. It's, it's giving me a headache just trying to play it like this. 
uh, might look smooth but it also makes it look like a Picasso painting and it's definitely not a way to play the game. Last I tried a boss mission and by accident this mission was set to a lower difficulty. Uh, so that gives you some idea of how the game performs on some lower difficulties. Uh, here we can easily stay above 30 FPS. In this mission I only had another squad member so things are not as chaotic there there aren't as many enemies but still when we get into the high explosion stuff uh, we can drop uh, to the early 30s or even just below 30. So I have about 64 hours played in Helldivers 2, most of it is on my PC and this is a game where you really need to be able to do some fast decisions and some fast actions so while yeah it can run at 30 fps in some occasions i don't think even 30 fps is enough to enjoy this game you can play it but you don't really enjoy it at least i don't enjoy it on the steam deck regardless there's a lot of people that do play it on the steam deck and on my last video there were a lot of recommendations on how to set it up so that you can play with at least 30 fps so hopefully this gives you some idea how the game runs now in the summer of 2025 i don't think there's been any improvement since i last checked it in february if anything i think it's gotten worse uh but yeah if you found this video helpful don't forget to leave a like subscribe for more steam deck content and check out my steam flow curator page where i regularly post benchmarks battery life controls and anything else you need to know about the game before playing it on the steam deck that's gonna be it for this video thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next one